Uh, my name is Vini Magalhães. Uh, I've been in Jiu-Jitsu for about 18 years now, almost 19, and, uh, and that's pretty much it. That's been my life like, since I was a kid. People, people see me, you know, as one of the best grapplers in the world. Vinny Magalhães, in my opinion, is the greatest grappler to have ever done. Even if you want to disagree with me, you can't disagree with me by a lot. In winning the world championship, he finished Chris Weidman in less than 20 seconds, and he beat Fabricio Verdum in overtime. Well, I, I got started in Jiu-Jitsu just like everybody else, you know, especially in Brazil, like with Hoist, watching Hoist Gracie fighting in the UFC. I think my first six terms, even though I was a pretty new in the sport, I, I won all my first six terms, so that actually got me going, you know. When it comes to competition, uh, you know, it could be like my mother, I would still be competing against her. I'm like that bad of a competitor, you know, I'll take things like too seriously. Uh, my transition to from BJJ to MMA was more like a... I think it was like everybody else at that time, you know, everybody was like, well, you're competing in Jiu-Jitsu, like, you know, you competed at the highest level, and now you get just like a little pat on the back and like a, and a, and a, and a gold medal. But at the end of the day, like, you know, that's not worth money. So I was looking to compete and be rewarded with money. Decided he wanted to compete in MMA. He got famous in mixed martial arts, largely through coming through the Ultimate Fighter. Came through that process, toughest tournament in all of sports. He makes it to the finals against Ryan Bader. Uh, when I went to MMA, it wasn't about the love for the sport, it was about the money. And uh, I think that's why, you know, it didn't work out so well, like, initially for me. But finally, you know, I found myself in a sport that I was loving to, and uh, I think that's why I started to get the results in MMA. So for me, that's why I've been, like, competing much more in MMA than I've been doing in Jiu-Jitsu. Even though, like, I've competed a lot in Jiu-Jitsu, like, in Gi and all that, uh, lately, since I started fighting in MMA, I felt like my game just kind of started to go, like, towards more the submission than just the point system. So Vinny is one of the few guys that bought into both schools of thought. The old school jiu-jitsu, Saulo Ribeiro, Hicks and Gracie, the whole Gracie family. And now this new wave, the 10th planet, the Eddie Bravo, the rubber guard. Vinny can do a little bit of it all. Well, for this event, I'm feeling pretty good. I haven't changed my training much for, for submission on the ground, because like, I actually was already training to be competing under those rules for EBI. Events like uh, submission on the ground and EBI, you know, they force like you know somebody to come out as a winner. Yeah, I think that's just the way to go. You know, I like like point system. Like I think it means a lot. But the thing is, uh, you're not looking for the finish, and the finish is the biggest thing in grappling. You know, if you can make somebody tap out, make somebody quit, it's always more entertaining. So that's why I like submission on the ground. That's why I like EBI rules, because like you know, you make somebody quit. 